All right, guys, this is what I'm using for the ridge vent. I'm using regular ridge cap across the top of this, which you know leaves a gap between every ridge. And if you don't seal it, uh, it'll vent. But if you don't put something up under it, it will get wasp and everything else in there. Leaves will blow in there. So I've got uh, this galvanized eighth inch by eighth inch by 24 inches wide, 50 foot long roll of galvanized hardware cloth. And it doesn't need to be two foot wide. It only needs to be 14 inches uh, to go up there and nail on those two most inner boards at the top up there. And I'm gonna nail it up there, roll it out, nail it up there with a roofing nailer. And then your tin will lay over the top of it. And then your ridge cap goes up the top of your tin and it keeps wasps uh, and insects from getting in your building. And uh, we all know how I feel about wasps getting on stuff that I gotta use. I don't too much like them. So uh, there's two ways you can cut this, I think. The last time I did it, I rolled this out and I cut it with a pair of tin snips when I did the roof of my house. And that was a big pain because uh, it leaves a sharp edge and as you try to cut it, it's trying to roll up and it winds up scratching you all to death and you look like a cat got a hold of you. Uh, ideally, a chop saw would probably be great. You just put this roll in a chop saw and uh, just black it off, but I don't have a chop saw. I do have a sawzall though, so uh, I'm gonna try that method this time and see how that works out. So uh, I will set you guys up over here, clamp you on. I'm gonna clamp you on the piece of tin here. Hopefully you can see right there. seems pretty effective and a lot better than 
unrolling it and cutting it all off and having to roll it back up. It's a halfway decent cut. I think it's much better than unrolling it and trying to cut it with 10 snips and rolling it back up. So anyway, I will get up there and roll this out and get it fastened up there with a roofing nailer. And then I'll have to get those boards swapped out. That won't be today though, but uh, it'll have to be before uh, those two guys come to help me get the roof put on. But uh, I gotta get that up there. Those three boards changed, and I gotta put uh, five pieces of eave trim up on the front right there off of a ladder, which will take a little bit of time. And then uh, we'll put the tin on. I'll move all the scaffolding up back here to the front, and we will finish up uh, the soffit underneath and the fascia trim that I just put up over here. You see me put up. Uh, you might can actually tell a little bit more about that from, from inside here, this angle. Uh, actually looks pretty good. But anyway, that's what we got going on here. All right, guys, we're going up top to uh, put the ridge vent on. I don't really want to, but I guess someone's got to. Now, someone's got to be me, evidently. It's not going to be fun at all. <clears throat> Need about two more hands to be able to carry the nail gun up there along with the extra thing of nails and the roll of hardware cloth. Jeez. Mm. This already sucks, guys. Damn. All right, gotta go back down and get that.
Something else I'm gonna get while I'm down here is my harness. Just because I don't really want to wind up like this nail gun just did. It's hard to hold all this and climb and everything else at the same time. All right, back up we go again. I'm not sure that I'm going to have enough air hose here. This sucks, guys. Really, really sucks. Oh, man. Did not like this at all. That's how you can see the road and my house and everything else from up here. I don't know, probably 28 foot in the air or so.
Of course they got wire on it. I don't have any cutters on me. Maybe I can get it off here with my hand somehow. There we go. What the crap now? Come on. Nailer's jammed. For whatever reason. They're throwing it off the roof probably didn't help it while ago. nail jammed in it. I don't think this nailer's ever done that to me. Well, I don't know that I have anything other than my knife up here to, to uh, try to get that off with. Unless the hook off my harness here Try to get it off with that. That sucker's waves in there good. Huh. That sucker's wedged in there real good. That won't fit in the end of it to push the round back up. Beating on it seems not to work. What does this happen when you're up in the air like this? Couldn't this happen on the ground? <sighs> Nothing can do any good with my knife other than run my knife probably. I knew I'd probably break my knife. I got the nail out anyways. I don't know if I can, uh, maybe when I connect the air back, the uh, plunger will come back up.
Yeah, there we go. Guys, I'm not quite sure what happened to the rest of my video there I had going on. Uh, I don't know if the battery in the GoPro went dead or what happened, but uh, evidently it cut off and I lost the rest of the footage I had there. But uh, anyway, that was a lot of fun up there trying to do that and hold on and roll that out and nail it down like that. But uh, I did get it done all but the last, about the last two foot on the uh, front side. I needed about two more foot of air hose the time I got it pulled up there. I had to suck a stretch tight so I could pull it and nail it. And about the last two foot uh, on the front side, on the far end, uh, I couldn't get a nail in because I didn't have enough air hose. And I wasn't getting back down and redoing my air hose and getting back up there. Uh, so, I mean, it's just kind of kicked up just a little bit. Uh, which the tin I hold it down when I get it up there. I'll just have to, uh, you know, lift the tin up over the top of it and lay it down and then put the screws in the tin. It'll be fine. Uh, but anyway, uh, got that done. And the next step is putting the tin up. So thanks for watching, you guys.